How about the Jungle Boy promo? Was that, have we figured out now why we never hear Jungle Boy speak? I did. I thought this is the uh, best thing he ever did on the mic. Can, oh, boy. Well, well, the best thing, that's like being the nicest guy in prison. Can you name another time he's been on a microphone? But no, uh, Brian, look at it this way. Tony Schiavone's in the ring. He brings that Jungle Boy. And J they should have done what JR started doing, call him Jungle Boy Jack Perry. So now that he needs to be a human being, he'd actually be one. But it doesn't matter because he ain't going to be able to pull it off. Jungle Boy comes out to the ring with the emotion of a constipated mailman on his route, accompanied by the dinosaur that was interesting for two weeks when he was a heel at Christian Cage's monster. Now we've got the dinosaur back with Jungle Boy, and apparently he's Jungle Boy's best friend. So the point is, the reason why I thought this fucking sucked pond water is this kid has great charisma when he's in the ring, when he's selling. And we've said when he, when he works with the other indie guys, it's just meaningless drivel. But when he's in there with somebody... The MJF match was was excellent. When, or when he's in with a veteran, when he's in with an actual wrestler instead of a gymnast, he's good. He can sell. He gets sympathy. He's got some fire to his comeback. He just has no personality. And now the knucklehead comes out, bleh, and Tony Schiavone's in the ring, and he asked Jungle Boy to respond to all the recent events. Jungle Boy snatches the microphone, and Tony just walks off. And Jungle Boy starts screeching. I can't even call it screaming, because it was screeching. He sounded like a 12-year-old girl now, but he's gone from a monotone, boring fucking non-presence to, Christian Cage, you're the biggest pussy I've ever met. It was not a flattering tone for the supposed baby face to take. He sounded like a fucking teenager pissed off over his stolen video game. No wonder he's never shown emotion before. If this is what he does when he's trying to show emotion, he had written down what he wanted to say and he had memorized it complete with choreographed facials and gestures that he made at the same time while still putting no meaningful inflection into his material, he was either screaming or talking. He studied the script, and he gave a stiff, memorized recitation of same. And to make sure that everybody knows that he's finally lost his cool and he's gotten mad, because before you couldn't make him mad. Well, now he's mad. That's why he said bitch-ass, shit, pussy, and pricks. All in the same interview. And then Tony comes back in and asks about Dino because we we need to tie that loose end up about how that he Dino was alongside Christian Cage doing his bidding for two weeks and then suddenly with no explanation. Well, the explanation is the monster is my best friend. And he was protecting Christian Cage, so nobody got to him before I did. That was the explanation of why that suddenly Dino, for once in his miserable existence, was an interesting heel instead of a doofus babyface for two weeks. Because he was protecting... What do you think, then, the Jungle Boys got to go and apologize to Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman? Say my best friend here, he was just trying to fool Christian Cage into thinking that he was on Christian's side instead of mine. That's why he fucking threw you through furniture and choke slammed you and broke all your ribs and beat the fuck out of you and left you laying in a puddle of fucking goo last week because he was working Christian because I asked him to. So sorry. This does not make any fucking sense. So after two more shits, Jungle Boy starts telling a story 
And this was, one would think that you could not figure out a way to fuck up getting sympathy when your father was a movie and TV star beloved by millions of fans and recently over the past few years died. But somehow he couldn't even muster up real words or emotions for that. And he had to prepare his material that sounded like it was coming off the goddamn South Park wrestling episode where they were emoting under a spotlight. And he starts telling the story about he how he dug his own father's grave. He was there in that hole in the ground with his uncle. My tears fell in the dirt and turned it to mud. Did you hear that, Brian? I did hear that, yeah. I just want to make sure I wasn't fucking having delusions. My tears were falling in the dirt, turning it to mud. And then before, I don't know what happened to the muddy grave that he was digging for his father. Because we will never find out because they jumped the gun. There was some statement that he was made. He wouldn't have gone into talking about his dead father and not put a period on it before being interrupted to put a period on at least one sentence so we'd see how he got out of the grave, except they piped Christian Cage in too quick. He's on the screen from the back, and he's watching them on the screen. So it was a little awkward. And he had to say, hey, 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 can you hear me? Maybe his sound wasn't up in the arena. I don't know. But finally, he breaks in, and he says that Dino made a mistake, And that the reason why Christian, he says, ran last week is so he wouldn't hurt Jungle Boy, but now he's going to bury him next to his dad. This was already rotten, and it was getting a lot rottener. Now, the highlight of the program over the past few weeks, Christian Cage's heel interview has been supplanted by a bad, stagey, phony, overacted, melodramatic babyface promo and Christian doing a fucking pre-tape in the back that wasn't very good because this whole thing doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense. So, Christian Cage with Dino, I think would have worked. I think Christian Cage was doing great heel promos and we know he can work and his shit makes sense. And Dino, that's the perfect spot for him. Don't let the big goof talk. Let him go out and smash people. Instead, we've got now Dino's back in the fucking Jetsons camp, or the Flintstones camp, rather, Jetsons. Sorry, that was Astro. Dino's back in the Flintstones camp with old Jungle Boy. And Christian is going to apparently have to wrestle, I guess, Dino to get to Jungle Boy. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Explain any of this to me, Brian. Well, I can't do that. I will say I liked it. I got a kick out of it. I don't think Jungle Boy was nearly as... I don't even know what to call what you did. Screeching or prepubescent sounding. I don't think it came across... I don't think it came across that way. Now, he did immediately call him a pussy. So right away, you're like, oh, wow. Let's see where he goes. And he was going for a little while. And I agreed not all the material was good, but it was the most fire we've seen from him. It was fake fire, though. It's not real. He's acting. It's obvious. I started howling with laughter, though, while he was talking about burying his father. That's when Christian Cage cuts in, and he's just standing there. Now, Jungle Boy has pointed out that Christian's going through a divorce, that his wife should call Jungle Boy. Christian just no-sold all that, and he was just ready with his own insults. I got a kick out of it. But as good as Christian was those first two weeks, and he was still good here, it's just now what should have been drawn out better, what should have been booked out better, planned out better, everything's just kind of happening. I mean, look at the Ricky Stark segment. And then look at this. It's like, okay, here's like four months worth of stuff. Let's just do it all tonight. (laughs) So I don't know what they're doing here. Uh, And you're right, though. The Varsity Blondes, who apologizes to them? And he was going to protect Christian Cage so no one else could get to him. Who was going to try to get to him? You're the only one who really hated him, Jungle Boy. Yes, and he hasn't wrestled against anybody else besides the the varsity blondes that he never tagged in until they were decimated by the fucking giant fucking lizard. Uh, 